Paper airplanes are fun to make and throw, but today we're going to make a fun gun that'll shoot them for you. I picked up this Shadow Pulse Blaster at my local discount store for five bucks. It makes a pretty cool sound effect and lights up. I've also had this small cheapy RC car sitting around, so I'm going to use this too. It's got what we need inside, two small DC motors. It's time to get inside this little Mustang. So we'll start by removing the screw to the battery compartment and taking the batteries out, then work our way around removing all the screws so the body comes off the chassis. We'll unsolder the power and ground wires going to the drive motor and then remove the tire and wheel assembly from the axle. Pop the other end of the axle off and hang onto those little gears for a future project. Then we'll have both tires and wheels unmounted from the car. And we've freed up and removed motor number one. Now to motor number two, which controls the steering. We'll free that one from its housing and unsolder the wires. Now we have both motors for our project. We will not be using the gears on the motors, so we'll pry those up and remove both of those. Oh, and don't just toss that RC car away. It's got a very cool receiver and transmitter that you can use for a future project. Now onto the Shadow Pulse Blaster. And don't forget to read the very important warning on this toy gun. Boy, times sure have changed. After removing all of the screws, we're going to pry this gun apart and separate it into its two halves. It's a pretty basic setup inside with a trigger and a small momentary switch that goes to a circuit board, has a little speaker and lights that light up. Now we need to find two spots on this circuit board where we'll have power when we press the trigger and hold it down, and we've located those contacts. So it's time to get a small piece of wire and we're going to solder it on those two contacts. When that's done, we're going to put the two halves together, but not screw all of the screws in, just a couple to hold it in place until we route this wire to the correct location. Now it's time to attach the tire and wheel assemblies to the motors. To get this job done, I'm going to use some five minute epoxy, but first, the axles on the motors are a little bit too small for the wheel, so I add a small piece of heat shrink tubing and that'll give us enough thickness. Now we have a nice snug fit to glue those wheels onto the axles. Once they're dry, we've got our launching assembly. There's two ridges on the top of the gun that have to go in order to get a fairly straight alignment with the paper airplane, so I'll use my Dremel to sand those down. I'm going to mount the motors to the very front of the gun, and I'll be using some Sugru to hold those in place and let it harden overnight. The motors are now securely mounted and ready to wire up. I wired one of the motors in reverse polarity so it would spin in the opposite direction, one counterclockwise and the other one clockwise. Now it's time to test out our paper airplane launch. Launcher gun. I'm going to use my new DJI Osmo gimbal camera to record this footage. The paper airplane launcher gun works best with a smaller size paper airplane and shoots it out pretty good. So that's how to make the paper airplane launcher gun. It's amazing some of the things you can do with just a little plastic and metal. And when it comes to the plastic and metal you use to shave your face, nobody does it better than Harry's. Their high quality German engineered blades are crafted for sharpness and precision. They really are amazing. They're half price of the big name drugstore brands, and of course they're shipped completely free to your door. Their starter kit is just 15 bucks, and that includes the sleek razor, three blades, and either Harry's shave cream or their foaming gel, which is what I like. Plus, as an added bonus, you'll get $5 off your first purchase with my code KIPK5. So support my show and head over to harrys.com and experience a new way to shave. That's harrys.com. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.